on a rainy day in Houston. We have 27 routes. We run 27 routes with each at least maximum 15 traps, minimum 10 traps. We went out with entomologist Maximea Vigilant of Harris County's Mosquito Control to check traps. With 268 designated areas and more than 300 traps, his crews are out every day and each site gets tested once a week. It's the 80 species of mosquito that can carry the Zika virus, a virus linked to birth defects and one that is tough to control. We call this the urban mosquito. Uh, it's the cockroach of mosquitoes. One of my colleagues has called this uh, the virus from hell. If it goes to take a blood meal, it can take a blood meal from four or five people, it can infect four or five people at the same time. Largely predominantly daytime biters. They like to stay close to the ground. They like to bite you on your feet. You know, they like to uh, bite you in your lower legs. They like to stay under leaves. So we put CO2 in here, which mimics what we breathe out. After trapping, the mosquitoes are frozen. I take a box and I'm gonna dump out roughly about 50. Then the surveillance lab sorts the mosquitoes by species and gender. Counting and sorting males gives us an idea of where we've got breeding going on. From there, it's on to the virology lab. They test the females for disease, and all results are kept in a database. And so our program is designed to really do the scientific piece of figuring out where the mosquitoes are that have the diseases, and then based on where those mosquitoes with diseases are, to really target the interventions. That could include localized spraying or using larvicides. But ultimately, the goal is to reduce the standing water, their breeding ground. With this Zika mosquito, we cannot spray our way out of this. So now you're really talking about a needle in a haystack related to finding mosquitoes that have Zika and humans that have Zika. So it's two needles in a haystack that you're trying to put together and come up with a response. 